Hello, it's Yvonne. Yes, I'm at the thrift store. I had to go do shipping and this is the thrift store that happens to be right near my house and the post office. So I just, I can never resist running in. Um, I had to wait for it to get a little quieter. Some little boy was not happy. So let me start here. Just a pair of pants for Hannah. Um, this is way different for me but I think how much is that it's a third off 240 off of eight dollars um, it's way different for me but I think I'm going to try you know I'm trying to branch out with my wardrobe I think I can make that a cute little boho look and if not it'll sell Fox Rose is sold at Dillard's isn't it one of the places I think okay so anyways if not I'm sure I can sell it you know for a little bit of money I'll style it and make it look cute this I'm really excited about hang on somebody made I've always wanted to do this myself granted I would have picked cooler ties well cooler in my opinion sorry I don't need to be cocky but someone made a skirt out of ties so cute they even added a pocket so I want this and it will be half price three dollars cute huh I need to go slower, right? I forget. They didn't put a tag in it, but that's cute. Drawstring. So, I'm going to try it. And if I can't make it look cute, I'll sell it. I'm pretty sure there's got to be someone else that wants a, t a skirt like that. I'm not sure how many people. I wonder if any companies ever did that. Oh, it's just my Ikea bag and my reseller kit and everything. My little diapy whites. And she came around with cookies. Oh, it was hard to resist. I said yes. And then I dropped it. I took one bite and I literally just boom right to the floor. <laughs> Probably my um, intuition. No, that's not the right word. Karma. I don't know. Something like that because I'm sure this is not a vegan cookie. Anyways, I picked it up. I put it there. I'll throw it away. So let's look at this. Somebody who owned Grace Project, Proceeds Go to Human Trafficking. Um, there's all these little baby bonnets and little um, headbands that have been decorated again. But yeah, thank you for your purchase and a restored bow item. Proceeds will help victims of human trafficking. So, they're like 99 cents. I like this one. So that one in there some really cute ones huh but I'm just picking out the ones that I think are really I guess my style whatever these are all of these are cute to somebody right so restored I'm guessing mix and match or with like secondhand um, bows for embellishments I'm just guessing Restore Innocence. They have their own labels. I don't know. I'll Google it. Wait a minute. That might be a cute one. Oh, that is a cute one. Okay, I think I got the cutest one. If they were a little cheaper, I would just probably get a whole bunch more. But I think I picked out the cutest one. A bunch of Ipsy bags. Let's see if there's anything up here. These brand new baby bonnets. No. Okay. And I do like to look at wallets and stuff. You never know. I found some winners. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Is that an Ipsy? I don't think so. Disney. That's cute bag. I want to get that for a Poshmark gift. That's what I do with a lot of my Ipsy bags. I include them with little Poshmark gifts. You know, gifts with purchase. If the purchase was over a certain amount. Oh, there's a probably a vintage. How do you say that? Ag. Wait a minute. Let's open it up. There it is. I don't know how to say that. That's an old school designer, but they're still in business. This looks brand new. Huh. Let's see how much that is. I dropped something. What else do we have? Mary Kay. A lot of Ipsy today, but I found some cool wallets for resale out of here. 
you'd be surprised sometimes. I found money in purses. Okay, so a few of you said, please look at clothing a little bit. So those of you that don't like clothing, you'll just have to fast forward. I kind of wanted to get this with the llamas. And it isn't that beautiful, like a Peruvian sweater, but I can't see the content to make sure it is a Peruvian sweater and there's no tag. But that looks like a higher end. Only $6.99. If it at least, a label I'm okay with. If it at least had a fabric content to where I could be like, oh, this is, um, you know, lamb's wool or that nice Pima cotton. It feels like something. But since I won't be able to prove it, you know, that's a little harder to sell online. So it's so, here, let me see if I hold like this. Then you guys can look at clothing with me. I don't know how to do this. I like to look at this ethnic stuff. That's a homemade ethnic dress. I usually start with large, extra large. And I would love to branch out into plus size, but it's kind of hard to find good plus size clothing at the thrift store. AX. Paris. That's kind of an interesting dress. It's not very well made though. Look at the horrible stitching. See? Because some brand name stuff, even high-end designer, is still made in China, which I'm surprised. I know they would love to get around having to put China on there too, but <laughs> they kind of have to unless they figure out a, a different way to do it. There might be some kind of way to skirt the law. Okay, I'm gonna, I want to pull out this one. The fabric's pretty. It's got a little retro look. Surreal. Size 4. $6.99. Now that's... This is a dress that you probably could sell on style. Nice stretchy fabric nice photo print black floral is always a winner never really in or out of style but without a high-end name even though i could probably sell that on style without a good name attached to the label we're probably still only looking at like 20 25 dollars and just not really wanting to do that smaller profit oh look at me getting deviated any brand new socks with tags still on i like these money socks See, some of, them, some of these still have the tags on them. They're brand new. Whoops. I don't know if these are, but they feel brand new. I'm going to set them in my cart like that while I look at these ones that are actually still new. Emojis. Emojis. Oh, these are all emojis. $1.99. I don't think there's a resale on that, is there? Oh, I like that. Okay. I don't see anything that makes me feel like it's going to have a resale value. This kind of stuff I want to see new with tags. I mean, come on. I know people will buy shoes, but to me, I that are secondhand, but I still feel like that's a little different. Dang, these are super soft. I might get these. They don't. There's not a tag, but they don't look like they've ever been worn. All right, let me see what else we can go look at. Wait a minute, I see a couple fabrics I'm gonna look at here before I move on. I see a couple good fabrics. Express. You know what? Express has been around for a long time. Oh my gosh. That was one of the hippest stores when I was a teenager at the mall, when the mall was all the rage. Um, and what was the other thing? Um, merry-go-round if you're my age you'll be like oh my god the merry-go-round it was like so wild it would be like sort of like what hot topic is today to the kids except it was a little pricier a little pricier very rock and roll and funky a little bit of the disco a little bit of everything that was popular that time anyways back to express express makes some really good stuff and some of it is resellable this is adorable so they do better seams, even though it's lower end merchandise. It's a little wrap dress, that's cute. Let that hang there. If that was on a sale tag, I might be tempted to get that. All right, let's go move to something else. I uh, don't know what yet. Okay, I'm back. Didn't really see much else in clothing. 
Didn't add anything, you guys. Hey, see that guy down there? Wait a minute, see him? He's in one of my competitions, especially for the hard goods. He's the one the other week I told you was um, going over the bases behind me with his black light. So, dang it, I should have started this section first. Well, he doesn't have a cart, but he's got a few things in his hand. Maybe that was a case fade for some reason. Okay. Hey. That's Garden of the Gods. I've showed you guys pictures of that. That's a picture someone took of Garden of the Gods. So beautiful. not seeing any art or frames that make me want to look sea salt wave spray american eagle outfitters uh oh well, that's pretty contact lens i'd be nervous about that let's see what brand this is made in china so the only thing i like here is this this is bath and body works so let's see what it looks like when we open it it's full but it's been kind of used dollar 59 i like to buy these but that's just a lower end one and that's they're cheaper at the dollar tree so sometimes the goodwill be tripping <laughs> right I'm going to get that. I like to get these to clean. This is a soft one. I like to get those to clean with, right? Sarah Michaels. Boy, she's been doing her thing for a long time. Who knows how old that could be. It could be yesterday. It could be years. Okay. I like this. $6.99. No maker's mark. Darn it probably just Ross or something right it's so hard to know because just because something isn't like a high-end designer just because it's like a studio piece or something that doesn't mean that it's not valuable so is this like a little purse no I thought that was two handles and that would be a purse and I'd have to try that They still are a little, it's not good you guys, they're still a little low. I mean, they're trying to fill them up, but today's senior day. Not like the ARC though, at the Goodwill senior day it's only I think 15%. I looked at this because, um, Liquor, um, fancy boxes and collabs that liquor come in that came in are sometimes um, have a good resale value. And again, things don't have to be vintage for me. I'm not just vintage by any means. If anything I've just d added more vintage lately okay well I'm kind of bummed out because my favorite aisle vases hard oh wait what hang on okay sorry I'm retarded <laughs> I don't have a pink smiley face I know that's new I've never even seen it in pink okay anyways what was I complaining about well, that just saved it. I was saying that my favorite aisle has no um, bases on it. Very slim. But that saved it. At least something for me, right? Let's see. Thought maybe that could have been vintage, but it wasn't. No, that's not. Just 
just a studio piece. I'm learning when it comes to pottery that we have to be careful. <laughs> you guys, I know I say we a lot. Some of you are like, I already knew that. Whatever, just humor me. Because sometimes a, a piece just looks like someone scribbled like their name in it, but it turns out to be. That's just what the artist does. So I've been learning a lot about pottery. I had something like this and over Christmas I let Mary have it. We had a, some Osti Spumante. Just, I don't, I'm not much of a drinker. It was just from the grocery store, but it was watermelon. It was sweet. It was like champagne in a cheap wine cooler. You know what I mean? Cheap champagne, cheap wine cooler. Bubbly, watermelon flavor, real sweet. It was at the grocery store. <laughs> I don't even go to the liquor store. Anyways, I had everybody pick out a wine, a crazy wine glass, and I had one of these like what you call like hillbilly or redneck whatever and she about died i'm like well girl that's been out for a long time you could just go get you one because i've been wanting one of these anyway so of course i let her have that hmm none of these are signed that's a cute little mix of 3D relief pit. I wanted to look at that because it was 3D relief. It's a cute little stand. Dang, Slim Pickens, right? All right, let me find us an aisle. This is Slim Pickings, but we still have the A and C aisle over there, and I always find something over there. So let's just be happy that I found that. At least I am. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, so apparently they just have a ton of vases and that was overflow area. Whew, okay. So, let's see if we get lucky today. Uh, most of these were here the other day. Darn. Well, that's new. Modern, I'm sure, very much sure. But it's cute. Too much, right? $9.99. That's about what it cost at Ross. This is an edibles. Woohoo! Right. Something's missing on this. Probably a lid or something, and it's molded, but. I mean, you know, from a mold, <laughs> not moldy or molded. I feel like this has got a little vintage flavor. Let me check that out. No. Oh, well. Oops. Bummer. Oh, that's pretty, too. Mexico. It's only $4.99. Okay, that's modern. It's Mexico. But look at that. Iridescent diachronic. Is that what you call it? I'm getting that. Even if it was made yesterday, that's a nice piece. Okay, yes. Dang, these are right in front of my face. Made in China. That's super lightweight about a two and a half foot like stretch base or something but made in China <laughs> dang no quality whatsoever light as a feather let me double check because I almost missed that cool Mexican okay okay so now we're looking at crafts Cute, huh? It's a placemat. Um, I grabbed one thing. I'm gonna get these for Lindy. They're 99 cents. They're like cut out shape poster signs, um, like what teachers would use for garage sale. I'm gonna get these next time I send her a mystery box. I just got one from her. I'm gonna show it to you guys later. Um, I'll put that in because she does pop ups. She is doing really well with all the ways that she sells stuff. 
Lots of paint, still new. Summer for fabric, stiff in the summer for like, um, you know, painting on fabric and some of just the folk art. 99 cents. A fan, I've got a lot of those. Let's see if there's any, if there's any gold or silver gilt, I will buy that. And I'm sure there won't be. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, don't be like, don't be like Daddy Bond, don't be creating the future like that. See if there's any high-end glasses or cases. Okay, a couple things I picked out. The aisle was too busy. I want to check out this plate. Hey, you guys. This little next two minutes is me at home now. I have to overdub this. Uh, I got a copyright strike on a section of music here. I guess I didn't talk enough or I was under a speaker. So, um, anyways, there, <laughs> Lovelace International Silver Company, yes. Silver plated, those are worth about 10 bucks at the most. I'm just gonna keep it, I think it's really cute. So, um, sorry, it's not syncing up. That plate, I found a couple of them on Etsy by that first name anyways, um, but I can't find out anything else about this person. I think I didn't get it, but if it's still on sale when I go back, I probably will get it. Alright. I was telling you guys those were Noritake. Hang on, we're almost done and we can go back to the regular video. It was just about a, almost two minutes. What are you? Japan. Huh. Dollar fifty nine a piece. I should probably get those, right? That could be re-gilded. What are you doing? House of Floyd, 1990, Taiwan. <laughs> a little Eskimo or Inuit. Are you a bank? What are you? Potpourri, probably potpourri. That's pretty cute. Probably mortar and pestle, but the pestle's gone. <sighs> Tea diffuser. This looks like 80s, 90s Sangra. Hope I'm not going too fast, you guys. And remember, some of this stuff looks nicer on film than it actually is. I promise. Royal Worcester Porcelain made in England. If the gilding was a little better, I might be tempted to look those up. But World Market. For those curtains came from those macrame curtains that are so epic I think I'm gonna keep two and sell two I don't know what those are oh there we go little fruit cakes or something <laughs> For, made for Target. It's modern, but it's cute. Starbucks missing the lid. Made in Taiwan. A little older, but I don't like them. Let's see what this is. I don't know. It's older, huh? I think that means sugar, right? Coffee and sugar. one of those and that's too much anyways 14.99 right. 
I keep looking at this and looking at this. I don't know if it's older or new. It's only $5. It'd be on sale next week, but someone, I like, it's got bad water stain of um, probably some kind of chemical that maybe someone put in for their plant or something. And I don't know if Barkeeper's Friend would get that off or not. Or some kind of lime remover. Not marked. What do you guys think? Is that just modern from Ross? Look at the quality and the polished bottom. It's heavy as could be. Probably just a modern from Ross, right? Okay. Made in China. Alright, let's switch. Okay, so we'll do the A and C wall now. you guys oh what is this squirrel $7.99 what is it you know about this that we don't goodwill I was tempted to get that and I could take those feathers off and put it out on my tree that's a lot jeez milky milky glass I am looking for a few interesting pieces though what are you plastic one of those Disney girls oh what is that dollar 29 but it's had dye added to it so I don't think that's cool Carved wood from 2007. <laughs> okay, you guys were modern. Yep, that's what I thought. Did I pick up a Dollar Tree thing? Oh my gosh, I hope not. I don't like getting hollered at. <laughs> Hand painted. Hand painted bank got a chip on it or I would try to figure out more about you. William Sonoma. Some of their stuff like just like with Pottery Barn can have a little resale value. <laughs> this is a wooden dinosaur that someone made 2007 but I like it. Here perspective on size. You know what? I did not put one thing off this whole row into my cart. Zero. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. Um, dang, that's not a lot. I mean, usually my cart would be like this, but they are a little thin right now on merchandise. So, all right, I'll see you guys later in the hall. Bye-bye. <laughs>